on the weekend against a big club with uh, we know it a quality um, players and a quality coach this coach uh, he knows exactly what's happened in the derby he knows exactly what's happened in the league what he can do fighting for titles also he, he have a lot of experience and he knows exactly what he what you have to say to the players we know they struggle a little bit in the in the league but you see also in the champions league they comes closer to the points and uh, get more points and uh, also in the league now it's so a little bit the the signal that comes that comes uh, better and better in the in the games and uh, yeah for us is this now for yesterday game quick recovery then continue on this performance what we did yesterday and uh, prepare the squad on on sunday on this of this big, big big game and uh, the mood is good in the moment after so results, after so performance. But we know it's a different game. It's not a Liga game. It's a special game, and we have we need a full concentration when we want points. Uh, the mood is it's very good. Uh, we got some points yesterday, and uh, now we have to change our mindset to to focus on the league. And uh, yeah, starting from today, we're gonna prepare ourselves and. Uh, see what we, we can do on Sunday. Uh, Coach Chad from kickoff. Uh, I, th I stand to be corrected, but I was looking at the, the previous derbies. I think you, you could be the first coach to win four Soweto derbies in a row. Uh, what would that mean for you, uh, especially having come in and, and you know, uh, solidified your, yourself as, or not solidified, but I mean, uh, stake your claim as, as, a, as one of the, the best Pirates coaches in the, in the last few years. I think I saw your stats, 50 games, only six defeats, uh, and you've got the best win percentage uh, of the last six or so coaches at Pirates. Uh, what does this all mean to you? I mean, uh, having this record and, and doing so well with, with Pirates. Uh, and then Happy, uh, I think it's finally going to, you're finally going to take the baton over from uh, uh, Shaba with regards to the most away to Derby appearances. I think this will be your 32nd appearance. Uh, overtaking Shaba, what what does that mean for you? Yeah, first, um, yeah, we have to win the game. That's it's important for me. Not important this uh, is four four in a row. Uh, I'm happy about this four. Yes, when we win the game, but we have a lot of work for us. And uh, I don't speak about four winnings in a row. We have to play this game, and we have to focus on this game. It's not important for me. Hundred derby. Yes, for the journalists, for the supporters, for the clubs also. It's top uh, 100 derbies, but for me as a coach, you get not more than three points in this in this uh, game. And it's I know it's a hard game for us against a top opponent, a top club, and um, we have to focus on this. Yes, I saw the statistic also. Um, I'm happy about this, but uh, it's not alone my work. Uh, it's uh, work for Fatlo David was also in. Uh, Darian uh, is, is in as an analyzer. We have the fitness coaches. Percy is now on the on the lead in this position before was Frank. Um, this is all all a work for these guys of this uh, about the reha guys, the medical guys, uh, the the management, uh, the chairman. All of this is working on on these results, and they they deserved this 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 the statistics also. Not me alone. It's not me alone. My statistic. I have to thank you on this, guys, and especially I have to thank you on the on the on the squad, on the team. They they take the points. They fight for the points. They run for the points. They they come back uh, uh, when we have a bad game and uh, or we lose a game and they come in the next week back and and bring us a win. That is the the teamwork what we need. What we need for results like this. But as a coach, yes, um, I know this. It's especially in so clubs like Pirates or big clubs in in countries. It's not easy. Then all one win against you, and um, we have now this the statistics. And I'm happy about this. But this is not always easy to work. Yeah, you don't forget the the first time I come here. Uh, nobody trusts me, and uh, now we fight together. We we fight each other and. We work for so results, and I hope this is not uh, the the last uh, points. Now, what we have now, we're going forward, and we want more points. Then 
we have 14 draws and uh, one of these games was too easy for you lost the, the game at uh, the points it was possible in, in in some games you get more than one point and then you have a much better uh, statistic this is this what the coach make angry but i know we have also three points in in our account and um we have also uh, in these three points maybe the game was not so well and we have normally deserved the draw and i know it's compromised always during the season uh, this results but i say it again we are happy i'm happy about this results and we're going forward and uh, for me this is not the end of the day for me give this more motivation i going forward and i want more uh, I think when you played the last derby in January, it was your 31st uh, derby appearance, uh, which was level with with Shaba. And now you'll be you'll be playing in your 32nd if you play on on Sunday. Uh, what would that mean for you to hold the the all time Soweto derby appearance record? Uh, it's very it's very special for me as a as a player, you know, to to set some record. But uh, the most important thing I have to thank God you know, to keep me going until now, because without him, I'll never be here. So, yeah, uh, I will say it's it's very special for me. Uh, firstly, to the coach, I'm sure you've heard about the Soweto Derby. When you go into it, uh, form doesn't really matter, but form equals confidence or gives confidence. Uh, do you think this time with the confidence and the form that you have, that you go into this game with that slight edge over your opponents and too happy. Uh, you've seen a lot of derbies. This is the 100th edition uh, in, for the league. Uh, just for you and the players to be involved in such a big number or significant number of the 100 derby, what does it mean for you and what does it mean for the rest of the players? Yeah, it's not always so so easy when you have a good run. We have now, I think, 11 games um, in the row. We, we have nine wins and two draws. And um, yesterday was was good to see the players and the, the, the team come back after bad, bad situations during the game. And uh, this is what I what, uh, have to see a coach. But it's not always then you, when you fly a little bit or you have good results, then you the player have to understand it's not always uh, running alone you have to work for the next game all games is different and this is not a Liga game for me this is a special derby this is one of the biggest uh, games in in whole Africa and um, all of uh, both clubs uh, is 100 percent motivated uh, they they have to win this this game or they want points they want not lose this game and uh, we also and now it's uh, the players have to understand now quick, recovery after this game and then quick is possible the the focus completely on this game on sunday then you need you have to win with self-confidence yes uh, but it's always a small line uh, for a player they have too many self-confidence then they don't work you, you need now the the right the right self-confidence uh, not too too casual um, but not too 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 strong not too nervous and then you go in a game, and then you can you can fight, and then you can win the game, and you get the same performance from the from the attitude what you have yesterday on the field on the pitch. Then you have a big chance to get points on Sunday. It's good for the for, for the teams, you know. It's a it's a history that we're playing uh, daily. Uh, but for us as players, we we have to play and get results you know it's very important not to play the occasions and uh yeah we our first priority is to get results and be in a better position uh coach i think obviously uh let's let's be honest i i, I you know you you said you came here in the country no one trusts you but uh, it's now 15 or out yesterday there was a lot of you know uh, a positive noise about you i mean the fans uh, they love you they kiss you they caress you they follow you they appreciate you how does that make you feel that the Orlando pirates faithful finally do trust you uh, they support you they love you how does that make you feel personally and uh, happy jayla they always say that you you good as as your last game but uh, one of your partners that is uh, that's right. didn't really have a good game yesterday are you going to be speaking to him about it or do you know what uh, he's a professional he sort that, that uh, he sort that out himself thank you 
Yeah, first I have to say thank you. Then, then, then you feel you get also motivation uh, if your last game or you have a good game and then you go, so you walk on the street and you you meet supporters and they give you good words and they come on next week you win the game and, and then it's it's possible you go forward and so it's very good to hear. Then I said again in the first time I say here. This was not so easy for me. Now I, I feel the support from the supporters. I know we have not always the best performance. We know we have not always the best results. But these supporters, they trust us now and they believe on us as a coach. And I say it again, it's not a me alone. We have a, a sport. Um, uh, uh, we have a, a staff team. They work really together. The, the, the squad and the staff work together. And we don't forget always these guys. Uh, it's always a focus on me. It's not alone on me. It's the kid man. Nobody speak about the kid man, but he make a top. They, they, these guys make make a very top work for us. The, the, the guys would make the food or make the, the clothes for us. They work a lot. The office, the medias, they make all a good job for us. And this is the things what we need for good results. But we're not on the end. But is it? Is it? Can keep it later. Can I please ask whoever uh, is, has their microphone on, uh, can you please put yourself on mute because you you just disturbed the coach during Amiti's answer. Uh, can I ask everyone to please keep your microphones on mute when you're not asking a question or when you're done asking a question. Thank you. Continue, coach. Yeah. Um, and this is the things we forget always these guys and uh, especially also the, the substitutes. Uh, they don't play a long time and then they come in and help us. They help us in a training session. This is a team effort what we did and for these results. But I say it again, it's, it's need a little bit time for improve the big, the big things what we want. But we are in a good direction and we fight for all and the supporters feel this. And I know it, the supporters have the best feeling for the team, for a for coach and I'm happy about uh, we have now as a team, as a coach, as a staff, the supporters on our side. We know we have also supporters. They not always happy with us. They maybe maybe they they we get a knee on our side and never on our on our side. But it's, it's football. We know we cannot make happy 100 percent. But when we have 70, 80 percent from the supporters on our side, then we going forward with these guys and they give us so much so many motivation for going forward. And I hope. This, this supporters have the chance they come quick back in the stadium then we need it uh, so much in a in a game during the games the supporters is is, is a big point for us and i hope uh, they're coming soon back yeah tyson is a, is a good player first of all and uh, obviously as defenders or as a team we're still going to analyze the, the game and try to make sure where we did wrong. It's not about him only, it's about the whole team. So that's why we, we're here as a team. So we not uh, point fingers to someone that you didn't do well and uh, we have to, to shout at him. We have to analyze the whole team, uh, what, what went wrong and uh, what, what we did was right. So the most important thing is about the team, it's not about one player. But all in all, I, what I know, uh, Tulane is a good player, and he helped he help us in in a lot of uh, a lot of things. He's a leader, so yeah, I think uh, we we still gonna analyze the game and, and see. Um, Coach Dalmenio from Soccer La Duma, my question to you is just. How impressed have you been with uh, Siabonga Ponchane, who has come in and uh, filled in that gap left by Richard O'Foran and also Wayne Sandilands? Um, considering this is someone who, in the last two seasons, has played just four games, uh, but we've seen him come in and do really well. So I just want to know your thoughts on that. And then also for you, Happy, um, you were stretched off in the last game uh, against Satif. And then yesterday you didn't feature. Uh, Chad mentioned that you could play your 32nd derby on Saturday. So I just want to find out how are you feeling in terms of your fitness? Um, how close are you to, to returning to the match day squad? Thanks a lot. Yeah, to my question, we have uh, three top keepers. We, we trust all of them. And this was the reason yesterday um, Ponchi have not so many times, many, many game times. And this was the reason we prepare 
Now, uh, both, both keepers, Wayne have in the last season and in the last weeks more times than, than Ponchi and Ponchi needs the time. Then now uh, we have not a hundred percent information uh, when is uh, Ofori back, and now we have to we have to improve now the next step, and we need now uh, uh, the, the, we have not now three three keepers, we have two, but but the youngster is behind, um, but the youngster is not not enough in the moment. He needs a little bit more time, uh, but it's normal. Uh, he have a good quality, but the other guys they. These three keepers have close to the same the same level, yeah, and uh, we are happy about this. And you see, yesterday Ponchi make a, a good performance, and we know what I have on Wayne. Wayne is uh, one of the best keeper in this league, and uh, I know what he can. But now was the time we speak about open, honest words, and Wayne is a, a top a top guy. We understand the situation, and we improve and we plan together. Um, this, this this department, like a goalkeeper, and uh, I'm very happy I have Wayne in the squad and in the team, and uh, also Pench Punchy, and I hope before he comes through back, but we have not now the 100% information now in the moment. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fit, all I can say. Uh, obviously, the medical team uh, told the coach that uh, I need to rest yesterday because they didn't want to to force me, you know. But uh, all in all, from starting from today, uh, I'm training with the team, and uh, we'll see on the weekend uh, when the coach decides which players want to play. Hi, coach. Um, I'd like to know uh, the, the progress of. Of Lodge and how fit is he, and will he be available for Sunday? And if there's any other players that won't make the, the, the match day squad for Sunday, thanks. Yeah, good. Uh, we have to we have to wait now for forty information from the medicals. We have happy have to see what's happened. And Lodge, um, we we have to wait now. But he has pain in a moment. But we have now any days to the to Sunday. Maybe it's possible, but we cannot say. Now, uh, now it's ready or not ready. It's open. Uh, Momo was out, uh, uh, but he's not available. Um, Sam is out. It's not available. We have, I think, the, uh, Collins is out. It's not available. Yeah, we have some players. They're not available. But, but the most was yesterday on the field, and uh, they are in a. Uh, yesterday was also Globo out. It was also a protect him for the derby. And we put him completely like happy out of the squad, but he, he has to can play. He can play. He's available on the weekend, hundred percent. But it's also a little bit um, preparing the team for the next step when we have the feeling uh, we go a risk. And this was too much yesterday for Lobu. And uh, yeah, we have to see what's happened then in the next days. Then we get more information about the other guys. Thank you, Sis Tandy. Uh... Coach, how do you, I know these are professional footballers, but how do you guard against complacency? You know, you've beaten Kaiser Chiefs uh, three times already. Your team is doing very well and Kaiser Chiefs is not doing so well. So how are you going to guard against complacency on your side? And for Happy, you were, the, you were part of the treble winning team. Right now, the, the the pirate squad looks very balanced. Do you think it's 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 close to that team that you you, you were in that won the the trebles? Uh, thank you. Yeah, we know it's uh, Kaiser Chiefs have uh, a quality in the team. They they was a, a leader last year a long 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 time. They they lost the the, the title in in the last game, um, but we know this quality what they have in in the in the squad. And yeah, we can say in a moment uh, the results is not in, but the performance is not so bad. They have a, a coach, uh, Gavin is, is he have a lot of experience in this league. Then he knows exactly the words, what they what what he have to say to the players and all the players. I think a coach uh, like Kaiser Chiefs or, or, or me, you, you you have not to. 
to encourage these players for a derby. And normally you, you can go in a dress room, you, you open the door and they, they need normally so self-confidence and self-motivation, they can go out and, 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 play, and play a game and, and win a game. This is the first, the first things what I have a player. But we have now a good performance. We have the self-confidence. We have now uh, good, good results in the last weeks. And yes, but uh, this game is special. And in the normal league, you have always other game. When you're finished with one game, the next game is coming. It's different to the other game. We know it. And special, this big game, it's a fight. And my team, I know it. They, they will fight for this point, 100%. We won't not lose this game. But um, it's a small possibility then, then we have to win, then we won't win this game. But we know it in this special game, that is not so easy. Yes, we was always better, but in the past, past is finished. Now it's the new game. It's a, a, a new time. We start all from zero. We know we have not all players 100% fit. We have a, a long time injured players. They come back now, but they are not 100% fit. We have, especially like Lodge or other players, uh, not 100% now in the squad. We use the open question. Um, it is not so easy to manage, uh, especially in so a derby. But the other team, the other, the other guys, was is already what is available on this on this day. They have to fight for the for the minimum minimum uh, one point or or three points and. This is now the small line what you what you have to find as a coach, as a player. Go, start by zero, 90 minutes full, and then you have a chance you can get three points. Yeah, as Orlando Pirates, uh, we compete for each and every cup that we comes along. And uh, for us now, we, we are confident enough to, to compete. And uh, each and every player now knows how to win a trophy so we are gonna try by make sure that any cup that comes on our way we compete for it yes coach my name is nati from NEGFM in Bulogan. yes last night marked your 50th game since you were appointed orlando pirates uh, coach how do you look at that period of 50 uh, matches yeah, I, I explained it before. It's the same question, eh, Tony? Before, huh? yeah, uh, it's not a, me alone. It's uh, it's the whole squad, uh, starting from a staff, uh, second coach, Fatlu, analyzer, Darian, uh, uh, fitness coaches, uh, rehab coaches, uh, Stevie Maker, as a rehab coach, rehab coach, top work, medicals uh, works good, uh, kit men's, uh, guys, what make the food, all things. Uh, it's, it's the management make make the, the right decisions with uh, travelings or bookings or whatever signings. This, this is not alone my work. This, I'm happy about this, this results. Yes, I'm happy when I saw the, the stats. That it's, uh, it's, it's very good. But um, so, so things make me more hungrier and uh, I, we had to go forward and I have to thank, say thank you to the, to the players. Uh, they, they, they have the first option. Uh, for the for thanks, then they they have to play and they uh, follow us as a coach, and and win the the, the 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 points for us, and this is the the other thing is also in the squad we work together we work for us we work for the result, and uh, we are happy oh, I am happy about this and I have to say thank you to these guys it's not alone my work. <laughs> 